Hello. Hello. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. And you? Doing great. I'm somewhat tired. It's all right. Uh, I guess Roberto and Eduardo are getting ready. <laughs> they can say. Fernando is joining us. Carla Hello. and Fernando, can we see you tonight? Hello. Hi. Hi. Could you, could you turn your cameras on, please, guys? I know sometimes there are exceptions, right? But Carla, you can't. I can't. I really chew my trophy today. <laughs> my trophy. I was like, what did she say? And then I got it. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's Alexandra. Well, hi, guys. I, I was in another class. <laughs> I was wrong. I don't know. Because I, I only link the other, the other direction in the chat. And I was in a, a totally different class. But English Corporativo as well. Mm -hmm. But it's... <laughs> I was really lost. <laughs> what a shame. Where, where did you get that link from? In WhatsApp group. And who sent it? It was it? it was the first link. Who sent that link? Davis. Ah, the first link he sent. All right, for another class. Uh huh. <laughs> who was the teacher? Do you know? A guy. I don't even know the name. Uh, I think it was my brother. <laughs> <laughs> With a glasses. With glasses. I don't know if he's wearing glasses. Yeah, I don't know. No, maybe not. No, he's not wearing glasses. No. So he <laughs> but the thing is that we are both teaching the same level. My brother and I are teaching this in intermediate. So maybe it was him. Uh, right side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You entered yeah. a correct group. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the good thing is they didn't see you. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, so this is what we started last night. I said we were going to practice this dialogue, so that's what I would like you to do right now, okay? Okay. Um, let me see. Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen. Lots. That's All right, here's a dialogue. And... I would like you to practice it, but also let's talk about a neighborhood in El Salvador, okay? So you can say this neighborhood, first practice it the way it is, okay? Then modify it and say this neighborhood because every sure has changed. I know a few years ago, and you say some differences, right? They're going to build a new a building or something, replace some of the information, okay? And adapt it to our country. So if you guys can see, take a screenshot. All right, we're gonna practice in pairs. Questions? Practice, then modify. Ready? Ready, ready, all right, here it yes. is. Accept yes. the invitation, please. Here we go. Everyone has a car.
It's the three three nine three point nine. Three point nine, okay. No. Section three. No, it's section four. It's on, on WhatsApp. Or a uh high -huh, Yes, but go to the platform so you can answer the, the questions with me anyway. So okay. section four okay. after the midterm. Roberto, I have a question. I'm curious. What is that behind you? This uh huh. Um uh, this um is <laughs> a piece of of material for uh, car, car, uh, uh, tapiseria, tapiseria. Uh -huh, it's, it's for furniture. Uh, I don't know how you say that, but okay, yeah, I, I found it interesting because it looks different. <laughs> it looks like a photo studio. Yes, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think, yeah, I did. Roberto is a photographer. <laughs> really? No, no. It looks like photo flores. I, yeah, I an old one. <laughs> okay. no. I had to ask. Okay. Upholstery. Upholstery called the pizzeria. Uh -huh, for seating, upholstery. Oh, never had seen that. Or, let me see this word. For tapestry. For tapestry. Okay, I've never seen that. All right, let's practice, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Tanya, this neighborhood sure has changed. Sure. Uh, I know. A few years ago, not many people lived, lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at the little grocery store? The now grocery it's a multiplex grocery store. Grocery, like that grocery store. Grocery store. Grocery store. <laughs> like a yeah. Oh. Yeah. And they're tearing down our, ha our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just. What more we must uh, to see? What else to do see? we have to do? First, you're gonna practice it and then modify it. Did you modify it? Oh, the memoir, the memoir is like. No, no, modify. Make some modify. changes. Yes, make some changes in the dialogue. So adapt it to a neighborhood in El Salvador and different places, different changes. Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah, at mall construction, a mall, a mall, a mall shopping. At a popping mall. That because you can read. Yes, that because. Uh, Everyone has a car. That I I try to. To change. To up, to, yes. Mm -hmm. So you are on the second stage right now, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Modifying it. Very good. That's because uh, everyone. I move it after about um, 12 years ago. Mm. But I remember. Uh, how change uh, and some place around my house when I was a child. That the the song uh, like the more changes are in the the people. I think this people yes. change so fast. Some people 
then they go away and some people come, new people come and, and this is the most, I think the most, the big change in the neighborhood. Biggest changes. Oh, oh. Yes. Go. Changes. 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 Biggest changes. You're so philosophical today, Jacqueline. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're so <laughs> philosophical today. Uh, yeah, I can hear you. I don't know what you say. But it's here. I say you're so philosophical tonight. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have you finished modifying? No. Not yet? Okay. No. Not yet. Uh, we're working. The plaza. The plaza. Two. Okay. okay. There were a lot of trees. You got it. Over you, got it. you got it. You got it. So adapted to that scenario. We were talking about the the, the place to, to you know design is called La Gran Vía. Yes. So you told me that the there were the spin, a lot of trees. The Spinos the Spino Reserve. Ecologic ah. Reserve. The Spinos Ecologic Reserve. Yes. No, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what used to be there before, but I know that place. So you can talk about that. Imagine you're there and you say, oh, look, it has <coughs> changed so much, right? There used to be in the past. <coughs> like in 20 minutes. Yeah. Well, it, it, it's fast. Mm -hmm. If I take bus, I get there in 40 minutes, maybe, on an hour. Me in car, I, I'm long, uh, 45 minutes or one hour, or one hour 30. Where Avang do you work? In, in Torre Futura. Uh, mm -hmm. Here we are. Did you finish modifying the dialogue? Who we'll finished? Mm, kind of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys got engaged in a different conversation, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I think, Alexandra, I think you made some progress. So could you show us what you did, please? Could you present it to us? Okay. With Fernando? Uh -huh. I will be the first one. Okay. This neighborhood, Santa Tecla, sure has changed. I know. A uh, few years ago, uh, it's very dangerous, but now it's more safe. Uh, years ago, it was dangerous. It has to be in the past. It was, it was dangerous. Now it's safer. But safer. now it's safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site in every corner. And now we have environment problems because the whole trees are gone. And you can see a lot of, build, a lot of apartment buildings in the site. Good. <laughs> Yes, uh, remember how we used to buy uh, ice cream in the little store, and now it's a a big mall. A big mall. Okay. okay. Yeah, and they are tearing down or 
public school and they are going to build a lot of mold and a lot of apartment buildings in the site. Fernando is in shock right now. He doesn't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> It's like well, I, the, I have to say it's the reality here in Santa Tecla because in the past it was a really green place and now you can see a lot of small, a lot of malls and a lot of apartment buildings near to La Gran Vía, for example. Yeah, I think it's the, before the population is growing. Uh -huh. It's because of the population. Yes, and, mm -hmm. and the people... Uh, are I don't know the, the people shopping we're becoming more consumerists mucho. yes mm -hmm. right well we're getting the we're adopting the consumerism uh, culture of the United States so maybe that okay you did a great job I really like it because you adapted it to a real situation so applauses for them guys thank you well done Cargador. Please. <laughs> <Hand it over. laughs> All right, guys, uh, let's see how this works. So we're going to be practicing going from past, present, future. Okay, so read the objective, please. Let me see if you can Jacqueline. At the end of this class, you will be able to describe events using time contracts between the past, present, and future. Very good. So you know what we're going to do, right? Uh, let me see how long this is. It's probably long. Hello. No, it's not so long. All right, let's watch, but try to take notes, okay? Pay attention, Roberto, everyone. Hey everyone, before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more. We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column, we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago, or people used to, or 50 years ago, and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present, and here we use these days, today, or nowadays, and of course, our verbs are is growing, shop, and drive, which are in the present. Last but not least, we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore, we use verbs in future. Will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then, present expressions, currently, in the meantime, now, future expressions, in the next couple of years, next, in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. 
make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. Okay, well, instead Short of this last part of as a child I used to five years ago, I nowadays, I, I really would like you to use this structure here. This one. Okay, and try not to take so long, all right? But I would like you to make some sentences like this, comparing, right? So a few years ago, not many people lived here. These days, you're here you're comparing population, if you notice, right? If, so not many people live here. Now it's growing. And in the future, what will happen? There will be a lot of shopping malls. So what I would like you to do is, in, in, instead of adapting it to a neighborhood, we're going to do it with El Salvador, okay? Let's do one together, and that is what you're going to do. We're going to try to use the model of the first one. All right. Uh, mm, here. Yeah, it's so complicated. Here. So let's say a few years ago, okay, a few years ago, what was the difference, guys, in El Salvador? Uh, uh, something that has changed, but recently, a few years ago. <laughs> Everybody's thinking. A few years ago, we... We only had, well, this is what I can think of, all right? We only had leftists and rightist political parties. Basically, right? Now we don't, I think. No. no. <laughs> now we're going to say these days. These and, days. Um, we have a lot of political parties. Uh huh. So if when I use, because we, I want you to use this model. So we're gonna say new political parties are emerging. Emerging. Mm -hmm. And soon, so in the future, what do you think will happen? <laughs> I think there will be a mm. lot of a lot of independent candidates. Do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah independent candidates okay guys this is the reality of El Salvador you don't need to work on politics okay you can talk about population you can talk about the economy you can talk about uh, transportation anything mm -hmm. all right this is my example because it's the first thing I could think of but I would like you to choose one all right do this follow these three and these three and write something and then show it to me when you finish okay it's not gonna take so long I'll give you about five minutes Okay. All right, let's work in small groups of three. Let me see if that's a possibility. Three, three, eight. Make three rooms. All right. Accept the invitation, please. Let's do this quickly. Go ahead. We can do it. A few years ago, people people don't work from their house. 
of people working. Ah, uh, that's a great example. But it has to be in the past. Don't work is present. Ah, don't work it. No, <laughs> the auxiliary <laughs> has to be in the past. Didn't? Didn't work, didn't work. Right, didn't work. From right. their homes. Mm. From their I house. Like that, the new changes. Yeah, I, how come I didn't think about that? Didn't work. Well, because of the virus. Yeah, good. Work. From their house. Carla, didn't work with no ED because the auxiliary is in the past. Uh, work has, is in present. Work has to be in the base form. No, not present, base form. Base form. Yep. Work is from the... No, from it's, the, it's negative. Uh -huh. the people didn't, didn't work, work. work. Didn't work. Ah. Uh, Hey, Carla, I like what you do. You share your screen and it's visual for everyone. That's good. <laughs> it's easy. Yeah. We might uh, continue use the, the dollar. Mm -hmm. We have to, we will to use dollar as well because American economy is growing so fast here in El Salvador, for example. Yeah, very good. Now think of the changes after coronavirus. Wow, well, how was life in the past after before coronavirus? Now and in the future, we can do that. Ah, it's a good example. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't okay. think of it, but the other group thought it about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. A few years ago, the people only played football. Only played football. No, not no, no, is here. No, okay, not guys, wrong. can you think? Can you think of the differences between, uh, well, before coronavirus, with the coronavirus, and predictions of changes after the coronavirus? Let's write that for the last example. Okay, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, these days. Uh, I think could be this day the people is playing a lot of video games in in their their houses. Okay, so who would like to share some examples with me? Yeah, those examples about before the coronavirus, now and after, I would like to hear those. I want to see your predictions. So tell me one in the past. Go ahead. Uh, 
I don't hear anybody. Okay, I will call you by names then. So, hey, Carla Chang, tell me one sentence in the past. <laughs> Why me? Why you? Why me? <laughs> okay, um, I I don't see that the the screen. Really? Well, no. Mm, I don't see the the the, the image with the sentence. Uh -huh. I know. I thought you had written them. You didn't write them. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yes, we yes, yes. Hello, everyone. In this yes. class, you learned how this today, uh, people... a few years ago, mm -hmm. uh, the people those didn't work it in home. A few years ago, people you're saying didn't work it, work it. Okay, guys, is this correct? <laughs> no. They didn't work because didn't and work are in past. Uh -huh. The auxiliary is in the past, right? Very good. By the way, the pronunciation of this, guys, is worked. Okay. Work. Yeah, you almost never pronounce that ED. When you have ED, okay. you always pronounce it like a T or D. Okay. Very okay. good. What a, yeah, that's a good change. A one in the present, Alexandra? But in these days, we have a lot of restrictions because we have to to save our health. Uh -huh. We have to take care of our health or to protect mm -hmm. it, right? Or stay healthy because we stay have... Stay healthy and we have to work at home. Work from home. Yeah, because they usually abbreviate it like this, so work from home. Very good. And in the future, Fernando? Uh, soon there will be uh, more, I don't know. Infected people you want to Or this, no. Social distance? Social distance. There will be a more social distance measures, maybe, right? Okay, very good. I like it. Now, I know this is your favorite part. Well, I imagine it is. I don't know, I'm not sure. But I'm going to send you three images for you to work in groups, okay? Um, I will send you one in which you have to use the past because you guys are forgetting the conjugations, okay? Guys, remember the negative form is didn't and the verb, okay, in the base form, okay? If it's affirmative, you're gonna use ed. The majority of the time it sounds like a T or you're gonna use the irregular verbs, okay? So if you don't remember the irregular verb, you can ask somebody from your team, maybe I will be in the group at the time and I will give you the correct answer or the correct conjugation. So I will send you an image talking about the past, okay? One image to for you to talk about the present and one to talk about the future, okay? So I need you to be able to make sentences and talk naturally uh, using the three tenses. So uh, that's what we're gonna do, okay? Let, we're gonna begin with the past. Let me see, work with different people, hold on. Um, mm -mm. Three. Give me one second. I'm rearranging this. Two, two, and two, one. You want to put in Alexandra here. All right, accept the invitation. Let's get speaking. Let's practice.
<laughs> okay. We have to change to, to the past. Okay, it, it answer the question in past. Ah. Hmm. Uh, what mm. game did you like to play with your child? I I play. I, play. I think we can use, I use it to play. Como yo solía jugar. I used played. When I was a child, I used to play. Just look at when I was a child, I used to play uh, Peregrina, Jax, um, <laughs> Jax, basketball. Yeah. Barbies. Barbies. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I didn't like Barbies. Yeah, me neither. Sorry, Carla. Sorry, Carla. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Did you huh? used to play with babies? Mm -mm. Maybe. We yeah, have. Carla, you're alone in this. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're not Team Barbie here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Carla, did you used to play Jacks? Jacks, yes. all the classic yes. games. Yes. How old are you, girl? Even one one hand, you can play one hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I I am 32 years old. I definitely played play Peregrina and Carla. I am um, 36 years old. 36? 36. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay. She looks wait, wait, wait. younger. She looks younger. I thought she was younger than I. I thought she was 26. Uh-huh. Yes, 26. Thank you. <laughs> Carla, does everybody tell you this or is it only in the camera? Every, 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 uh, every, every, everybody. Yeah. What's your secret? <laughs> yeah. Well, what's your secret? Tell us. Play with Barbies. Look, the three of us did it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the this secret. That's the secret. <laughs> that's the secret. <laughs> Jacqueline, how old are you? 23. Ah, okay. You age. Ah. Yeah, you look good. Okay. Yeah, you How do I look, girls? I'm probably already kind of tall. 35. Uh-huh. How old? Carla? 25. 32. 32, 33, uh, 25. I'm 28. <laughs> <laughs> so I look I'm older. I'm a bit closer. <laughs> I'm closer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm I look older. I know, I know. <laughs> but you, you, don't, you don't see that older. Mm. Mm. Like five years now? Nobody you look is years younger older. than you, girl. Uh -huh. Nobody is younger than you, girl. <laughs> oh, Thank I you. envy you. That's so nice. Thank you. All right, go I ahead. Know. Continue. I'll let you speak. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Uh, oh. Instituto Nacional. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah, that was my my high school okay okay the next one you have to do with me for me okay did you study did you study hard in high school yes i did because i was I a nerdy girl <laughs> and i really loved to read books to read books and studied a lot i enjoy it yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, great. You still are nice. You're you are know. very responsible. <laughs> uh, I'm responsible. <laughs> yep. At my age. Yeah. How old are you? <laughs> I'm 28. Ah, okay. 28. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. Somewhere like that. <laughs> yes. I'm 32. I'm 32. So. You owe me respect, okay? <laughs> what are you talking about? No. <laughs> even, even if my English is not enough, enough good, okay? <laughs> I couldn't help you. <laughs> Wait, no matter your age. It's not about age, it's about maturity. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's just not explain anything, don't worry. <laughs> Don't for me. Yeah. I will do the next question for you, Eduardo. Okay. What kind of food did you eat when you were a child? Do you eat the same things now? 
when you were a child? Excuse me? What was your country like when you were a child? Oh, my country uh, was El Salvador. It's the same. Mm -hmm. And you? Is that the question? Oh. No. It's <laughs> not the question, Roberto. What, what was your country? Uh, oh, I don't know. What was your country like when like, you were a child? Yeah, that's the key, Roberto. Like, como era? Yeah, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Okay, Paul, Fernando, what do you think? What was it like? Uh, the country was like I don't know. Yeah. The country had uh, more forest forestation more trees and how how can you say that that he he has more Something trees i don't know better. what to say i think uh was better because uh we uh we can walk free across the on the street uh, the street could. in the past we could we could yeah and uh, and by the way Fernando is a forest station if you want to say forestation it's a forest station a forest station yeah. Yeah, a forest station right okay great you can you can discuss whatever question you want all right, you don't need to follow an order. Okay. Do you think the past was better than the present? Why or why not? It's relative. Really? Why, Paul? Well, I think you're breaking up. And some things are better and some things are worse. Mm -hmm. For example? The contamination. Yeah, contamination, uh, right. Is worse nowadays. Yeah. And I think, uh, like, all is relative. A uh, positive uh, side could be the country is more, had more technology. Uh, more accessibility for the people, connection, uh, a better communication. Yes, and I think that the dollarization helped us a lot because we have some years a ago, mm -hmm. some years ago, teacher in our country or in the capital, San Salvador. Okay. Um, past. Uh, few inundation inundation there were uh, some there was flooding or there were flooding flooding yes yes a uh, uh, few floodings uh, than now ah, are, you think that there were there was less flooding than now yeah that is right Okay, yes. and another image, discuss the new image, like in the present. I have to pay my bills, and maybe that is a benefit in the past. My parents support me with money. <laughs> they, they supported yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, I, I sent you another image. I sent you another image to practice the present. Let's okay. do that one. Too. Okay. Okay, what are some mm -hmm. activities? Night. And now, I sent you another image. Can you practice that one? Yes, the new image. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> but I don't, I don't do. I should do a study more. Uh, yes, I study every day. <laughs> what Why is not? something? Do it almost every day. I eat almost every day uh, tortilla. Um, Say, I hey, eat, Roberto, I eat tortilla oh, almost every day. I eat, oh, okay, okay. I eat French bread almost every day. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. I eat, uh, uh, Beans almost every day, <laughs> and in the breakfast, in the breakfast or dinner, or in the yes. it, is, it, is, it is dangerous. Why? Beans are dangerous. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. a joke. <laughs> hey, no beans are life, guys. They're life. They're delicious. Yes. They're good. Yes. <laughs> Eat them every yes. day. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Are delicious. <laughs> they are. My mom and my dad and my sister as well. Every day or every night. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any bad? Okay. Do you have any bad habits? I, I have to be. Honest. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I'm a kind of messy guy with my clothes. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, Normal guy. <laughs> my bad habit. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's that my my pretty bad. Habit. What is sometimes you should do every day but don't. Uh, exercise <laughs> because I'm a kind of lazy girl <laughs> and I have to do exercise because I work sitting here most of the time and I have to move because in the past I I really enjoyed to run and go to the gym but right now it's really <laughs> it's hard but I have to do, basically. I have to do it. How many hours mm -hmm. do you spend sitting down, Alexandra? Well, 10 days per day. 10 hours a day? Because my work is really demanding. Uh, 
but I, I, I try to walk in my house or I, I, as I said before, I do yoga at night. Ah, okay. And that fixes me. That helps you. Ooh, mm -hmm. 10 hours. Does your back hurt? Yeah, a lot. In this time, in this quarantine time, I, I suffer from um, back, back pain. pain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, because it's, it's like a uncomfortable. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I, I got it, yes. Well. Alrighty, so you practice the past and present, right? Yes. Do you have any questions about that? Past or present? Yes, oh. yes, I want a question. Uh -huh. What does translate to queso fresco? <laughs> Fresh cheese? <laughs> no, 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 it's simply a kind of cheese. It's, uh, the thing is that in other countries you have different names, right? So it depends on the country. Mm -hmm. That'll be just cheese or cheese fresh fresco, cheese. Uh -huh. <laughs> fresco cheese, right? Like for example, in but if you go photo. to the grocery, how do you say? Or, or you don't have queso they, fresco? They have different names. No, you have cheddar cheese. You have uh, mozzarella. I don't, they don't have cuajada, for example, que se a translation. Yeah, no, there's not, a, there's not a translation. Like you okay. say, blue cheese, right? They have their own name, but that one is, mm -hmm. like, like here we okay. have cheese from Venezuela, so it has a different name. We have queso fresco, but people from Venezuela sell it, and it's not queso fresco. It's like, I don't know the name, but it has a different name. So it depends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, tomorrow, sorry guys, but tomorrow we have classes. I know it's Father's Day, but we asked and we have classes, so I'll be here, okay? <laughs> Do you live in the U.S.? No, I, I lived in the United States for almost two okay, years. Okay, but it's a free day there? <laughs> no, right now I'm in Argentina. I live in Argentina. Ah. It's not Father's Day, but it's not because of me. Inglés Corporativo said there are classes tomorrow for everyone. Okay. Right, okay. We, we send you queso fresco then. <laughs> <laughs> to celebrate the Father's Day. <laughs> I prefer this day to have a daddy. Uh, no, I know. <laughs> I don't know. No, I would prefer if you sent me, let me see, um, frijoles natura. Natura beans. Refried. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Write down your, your address. With tortillas or... made by Carla Molina. I made tortillas, yeah. so we send you queso fresco and we send you naturas. Naturas. The press is going to go bad on the way here to South America. Okay, I'll send you my address, just in case. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Take okay. care. Bye. 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 Thank you. See you. Bye. See you.